Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another video. Um, it's been a bit since I've done an update on these cars. I say these cars because i got something new to show you. Um, here's the uh, 91 Country Squire wagon I've been piecing together for the past six months or so. I've just been, you know, taking my time on this. I, I could really get this going in like a couple days. If I had all the parts, I got some stuff here. You know, some gaskets, some emissions block off stuff, uh, some more gaskets, some fuel line gaskets, some, uh, you know, more gaskets, some um, spark plug wires, some spark plugs, oil change stuff. It's coming together. It is. It's slow, but it's coming together. Right now, I'm just waiting to honestly just get myself dirty in here and pull the valve covers for paint and replace. I'm going to do the O-rings on the um, fuel rail and on each injector. I just, you know, it's been a bit, these, you know, those gaskets are 30 years old. And me disturbing them, you know, pulling them out and stuff, I'm sure they're, I just don't want to have any issues with high pressure fuel leaks. I, I just don't want to go down that route. I've had um, a fuel fire before. In this exact spot in this garage, I had an old 77 Ford. It was carbureted, so it had a mechanical pump, low pressure. But, yeah, you know, uh, I didn't have the timing set right, and the uh, uh, thing just kept feeding itself fuel, and it was a bit scary. But I got it, I got it figured out. It wasn't too bad. But I just don't want to have any issues with that again. So I got a whole bunch of gaskets just to get this back together really what I need to do at this point is put those emissions plugs in the back of the cylinder heads uh, figure out something with this exhaust I I want to go with headers on this thing but it's impossible to find headers for this car and I want to find one with that has a uh, O2 bung already installed I mean I'll I'll get a pair of shorty headers if I have to the reason why I want to do that is because I'm deleting the emissions stuff so I want to get rid of the cats as well so they don't get plugged up because without those emissions control and the air pump, these cats might be susceptible to plugging up and I, don't, I just don't want to have to deal with that. So I want to figure out a way to get rid of those cats. Um, I might use the standard manifolds and just build an exhaust off of that. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. I could get some shorty headers too to make that work, but the O2 bungs are already there. The O2 sensors are already in the actual exhaust, so that would be the easiest route to go. And put the starter in, hook up all the wiring, um, fix the you know fuel stuff, figure out vacuum lines to what I need to uh, have hooked up for this thing to work. Just button everything up at this point the big stuff is done the engine swap the motor is mounted bolted to the transmission torqued uh torque converter torque to spec all that good stuff it's it's ready to go pretty much and i'm just kind of waiting on some more you know funds to continue this project but in the meantime i just got a smoking deal of free on a little project here in the car club I'm in locally. Uh, check this out. It's a 90 Toyota Camry wagon. I, I, I somehow just keep collecting these wagons somehow. And wow, it's so funny to look at these. This is a 90, 1990. This is a 1991. <laughs> It's really funny to see these two side by side because, you know, this really shows its age at this point. You know, it's like, you know, I think these were introduced in 78, 79. And uh, this model, I think, was mid-80s when these came out first. Um, so this thing I got for free, but there's a reason. It doesn't run. And... What's surprising to me on this thing is it has very little rust for a Toyota from this age. You can see a bit of bubbling right there on the fender, but it's not completely rusted out. The rockers look decent. There's a bit of something on there. Don't exactly know what. And there's like weird spray paint. Crusty stuff on there. I think he was trying to cover up rust that was starting to form, which is good. It prevented it from getting any worse. 
but uh, check this thing out. It's it's all right. It's all right. You know what I mean? Like this is workable. This will uh, be a fun project. The interior has it's that really sweet like wool, which I think was maybe not an upgraded interior, but I like the wool. It's nice. It's not you know blown out like leather would be at this point door cards all there like like it's it's just it's a complete rig you know what i mean like it needs to be cleaned out this is a bit gross in here but i mean for free you can't complain i mean honestly i've made money on this i found like three dollars and change sitting there so i'm already up money on this thing uh you know it it needs help it needs to be worked on i think someone tried to break into it at one point seeing that right there Someone's prying up in the thing. That's probably why the seat belt, it has those super cool spaceship seat belts on there. Yeah, and the door, it closes, right? Just a bit, you need a bit more force. All the original hubcaps are with the car, which is sweet, and they're actually in decent shape. The paint's faded on them. The, uh, like, paint is flaked off. It's There's one little crack in that one right there. How about that? Actually, all these hubcaps are in really good shape. Except for that one that has a crack in it, but that's not bad. And honestly, the steel wheel under there looks decent. It's not completely rusted. This is a solid car. Well, I'll be um, interested to see what this will actually take. The previous owner told me that... Wait, is this metal? Is this, is this header panel steel? It's rusting. Now that's an interesting choice from Toyota. That's metal. These Panther cars had a fiberglass nose on the header panel. Like, see, like this is a fiberglass. That is an interesting way to do that. That's a expensive part to make, actually. I'm surprised that's not fiberglass. Uh, let me open the hood up here. This is a pretty special car, too. It has the V6 engine. I almost said V8. Uh, V6 engine. Um, you know, it, it could use a clean, a good cleanup, but... Uh, I think this will work out. I think... I can definitely do something with this as it's all here. It doesn't look like anyone's been into it too much yet. So it should be, you know, you never want to find a car that's been half taken apart because you'll just never get it back together right. You know, it'll just, they'll always be missing something. But it's all here. This is workable. The shock towers, not rusted out. How about that? You know, I mean, it's small wind, but they add up to a car that's like, th this is fixable. I might use this as my, you know, winter beater. Why not? It's a hot day out here, and I kind of want to finish some Fortnite challenges because the season's almost over. Uh, so I'm probably not going to work on this today, but uh, it'll be fun detailing the interior. I like doing that. Well, I mean, it was free with a title, clean title in my hand. It just needs a bit of work. I, I, you know, I don't know why, but I just, I seem to be getting myself into a whole lot of wagons recently. Uh, I, I like them. They're fun. Uh, why not? Uh, this thing's kind of becoming a vintage car at this point. I mean, it is, so. Sure is interesting. These, you know, I remember a time in the early 2000s when I was a kid, you'd see these just, they were old cars by that point, but they're, they're fine. These, these are very reliable, very comfortable cars. You got a dual exhaust, it looks like. Uh, it's just from one muffler. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's so a single exhaust, dual tips. Um, has 180 something thousand miles, which for a Toyota, I mean, come on, this thing will go another 100,000 miles. Ooh. Yeah, take a look at that. 182 on the clock. I wonder how bad the steering wheel is. 
hey, the steering wheel's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Wonder why there's a cover on it. The steering wheel's fine. I'm gonna take that nasty old rag off. Yeah, look at that. That steering wheel's in great shape. How about that? Uh, what's also cool is this car is a aftermarket sunroof. And it it's like decent. It has it's like a power legit sun sunroof here. Yeah, something is up with some of the interior components, but yeah, this this uh roof doesn't look half bad, honestly. Like it's I wouldn't trust it as far as leaking, but you know what a deal. I'm still just kind of speechless. I mean, you get to know people, you get to, you know, right place, right time. I was the first to respond to this guy's post. Like, you know, he was just giving it away because he was moving and he didn't really have the time to, you know, do something with it. I'm just hoping that the motor's like not locked up or anything weird like that. I mean, even if it is, who cares? I'll just have it towed away. I could sell some parts off it, give it to someone else. You know, I didn't spend anything on it, so I'm not too upset if this thing isn't a runner, but it's worth trying. It's worth trying. It's worth trying to get this thing to run again. Uh, the previous owner told me the ignition control module is bad on this thing. We'll see about that. Battery's completely dead right now, so I need to figure out that first and then go from there. Get it cranking, see if it has spark, fuel. Well, spark is going to be the issue, I'm suspecting, but... Um, Check everything over. Uh, see what we can do. I'm pretty happy. Now, uh, my daily driver over there, the Silverado, I am currently working a marketplace deal to potentially trade that thing for a 2006 uh, Ford Mustang GT. Um, it's a GT Premium uh, convertible. But what really sold me on the Mustang is it's a stick, it's a V6, or it's a V8 with a stick. So if the guy wants to trade for this, I'll maybe do it. You know, this truck is very clean, low mileage, but it'd be cool to have a drop top Mustang, especially with a stick. But if it needs timing stuff, I probably will pass just, you know. Uh, cam phasers I know are an issue spark plugs can be an issue yeah, it's it can be a headache but we'll see but this here is a interesting little project to get into hey uh, I know this is a long video I've just been talking rambling but uh, hey uh, if you've gotten to this point thanks for watching this is pretty much what I do I find these old like heaps like honestly this one isn't a heap it's pretty decent actually compared to what I usually bring home uh, we'll see what happens hey if I can get this thing going I might be able to flip it for a couple grand drive it for the winter it's front-wheel drive the heavy v6 is probably good for being planted I mean it's a free car what can you what can you say what a time to you know be alive you know like it's interesting being uh, early 20s right now you know these old cars are just like if you put it into perspective like someone like you know in the og hot rod days this would be like you know a a 30 deuce coupe or whatever but you know i like cars man i just there's something about them they're just fun to be around just to think about all the effort that went into designing this thing and I got it for free wow we'll see what happens with this I, I will be very interested it'd be really cool to get it running you know I'm, I'm gonna have very low expectations I'm not gonna just think that this thing's gonna be a turnkey put one part in it and it runs fine you know I, I am concerned about you know timing as far as like chains belts whatever this engine has you know it, it there's a good chance it's never been done and this thing just rattles horribly but eh, you know it, it was free i could probably get 500 bucks for it if it was running but with a clattery engine we'll see hey thanks for watching i know this video this video is getting a bit long um 
thanks for watching. Hey, I'm close to 5,000 subscribers. How about that? Like, I, I've grown exponentially this year. It's been a pretty impressive year for my channel. I'm very, very thankful for everyone who's shown up and is in my community, enjoys my content. It's pretty incredible. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.